hi dear today we will start with the combination of resistance okay resistance can be combi combined in two ways okay in a circuit it can be combined in two ways in what ways in series or in parallel okay so the resistors can be connected in series like this so it is connected in series okay and this is connected in parallel parallel to each other okay so in two ways we can connect the resistors uh, uh, we can connect the resistors okay so first we'll see what are the uh, what will be the observation when the resistors are connected in series okay this is how we uh, will connect the resistors in series okay circuit uh, current is flowing from positive terminal positive terminal and this is resistance with r1 r2 r3 and voltage is connected across the resistors okay across the resistor only because you can have the potential difference only across the resistor not here here there is a, a potential potential energy will be same only across the resistor there will be loss of an, uh, potential energy okay so the resistor uh, potential voltmeters are connected across each resistors okay so uh, from the activity uh, uh, all this observation has been taken okay in a series the in a series in a series the total potential difference the total potential difference is v equals to v1 plus v2 plus v3 v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay okay we are going to apply the ohms law to the entire circuit what is this entire circuit what is the ohms law the potential difference is directly proportional to the uh, current flowing through that right so to remove the proportionality we have introduced the uh, r constant right so v equals to i r this is for the entire circuit we will generally write v equals to i r okay now we will apply the same ohms ohms law to each uh, each resistors okay separately here this is resistor r1 and current i flowing through it okay uh, and uh, your potential difference is v1 here here resistor r2 and potential difference is v2 same current is flowing through that because we have studied in series the current will be same right throughout the circuit in this is resistance r3 and with the voltage v uh, potential difference v3 and current i okay so applying uh, this ohms law to each resistor separately v1 equals to i r1 because the current is same throughout the series okay throughout the circuit in, when it is connected in series okay v2 equals to i r2 v3 equals to i r3 okay from 1 and 2 uh, we can write this out so the left hand side we both are v so we can equate the right hand side so ir is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 so from 1 and 2 we get ir equals to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and we know that v1 equals to ir1 v2 equals to ir so substitute this v1 v2 v3 value here we will get So from equation 3 and 4 if you substitute the value of v1 v2 v3 you will get like this so this i is common for all these things so take this out the i get cancelled so r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay when this this is the equivalent resistor rs connected in series okay rs this is equivalent resistance okay we can uh, instead of uh, connecting three resistors like this we can connect a single resistors with equivalent to this sum of these thing okay that is the meaning of that okay so what are the observation from the resistors in series when the see uh, when the resistors are connected in series the current is same in every part of the circuit or same current through each resistor when the series resistors are connected in series okay same current is through uh, passing through this resistor each resistor or current is same throughout the circuit next the potential difference across a combination of resistors in series is equal to sum of the potential difference across the individual resistors that is each through each resistor there will be a potential difference that will vary right so the so total potential difference equals to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay this is all observed from the activity done okay uh, and it, it is possible to replace the resistor joint in series by an equivalent single resistor of a resistor. How is that possible? We can find the equivalent single equivalent uh, resistor value equals to resistor equivalent resistor equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay. 
this is connected in series equivalent resistor okay likewise we have resistors in parallel when the resistors are connected in parallel okay already we have done that when uh, when it is parallel parallel connection the current will current will not be same throughout the circuit okay uh, the current will vary with each branch right so same thing in parallel the total current because it it varies right here the current is i when it uh, divided into all these three branches it the current current is divided here it is i1 and here it is i2 here i3 so resistors is r1 r2 r3 okay so but the potential oh, if you connect the voltmeter and if you measure the potential difference the potential difference will be same throughout all this three all the three resistors okay it is observed from the observation okay activity okay and uh, done in lab okay so in parallel the total current when you measure the current uh, here here and here using the ammeter the current will vary okay first you can connect the voltmeter uh, across this resistor r1 and the ammeter here you will measure the uh, value of v and a okay again you can connect to the connect the voltmeter and ammeter across this resistor to measure that okay the volt the potential difference remains the same but the current will vary okay so applying ohm's law to the entire circuit i you know that uh, v equals to i r here we are going to calculate the i1 i2 i3 separately so we can rearrange it and we can write it as i is equals to v by r okay this is equation number 2 so applying ohm's law to each resistance uh, resistance separately i1 equals to v by r1 i2 equals to v by r2 i3 equals to v by r3 okay you can substitute the i1 i2 i3 value here uh here how you got this from equation 1 and 2 i equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 i equals to v by r so left hand side is i equals so you can get the uh, right uh, right hand side so the equation becomes v by r equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 you can substitute the value of i1 i2 i3 from here and you get you get v by r equals to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 okay so v is common in all the terms you can take the v out so it becomes v into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay so 1 by r equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance here it is not the direct uh, equivalent resistance reciprocal of this this is 1 by r okay so what are the observations from the uh, resistors uh, connected in parallel the potential difference is same across each resistor that is uh, it is not v1 v2 v3 and all it is v through uh, for all the uh, all the three resistors okay the potential difference is same across each resistor when the resistors are connected in parallel okay next the total current i is equals to sum of the separate currents through each branch of the combination i equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 right that is i is equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay next what is the final observation the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance of a group of resistors resistance joined in parallel is equals to sum of the reciprocals of individual resistance that is equivalent resistance reciprocal of the equal resistance is equals to sum of the sum of the reciprocals of individual resistance okay thank you